In this video, I'm going to talk about testing the difference between two beta weights. And by beta weights, I mean uh, s unstandardized and standardized uh, coefficients that you get in a multiple regression uh, equation. Now, you often see people ask this question on uh, various forums for statistics, and there's rarely not a very good answer to this question. And, and textbooks uh, rarely treat this issue. And when they do, they give a formula and the formula is usually based only on the unstandardized beta weights rather than the standardized beta weights. And uh, most people, well, it depends on your discipline, have hypotheses or they look at the standardized solution only because it's the only solution that's actually uh, interpretable. Now the solution to this problem, there are actually two of them, and one of them is an exact solution uh, that you can get from a structural equation modeling program like Amos, and I'll do a future video on that uh, soon. The solution I'm going to give you gives you a very similar result to what you get from Amos, but you don't actually you can use SPSS or any program that can do bootstrapping. And the reason why bootstrapping is useful in this context is that coming in a paper of two th 2009, in fact, there's, there are several papers that looked at this issue, uh, demonstrated that two-point estimates are likely statistically significantly different from each other when the corresponding 95% confidence intervals overlap by not more than 50%. Now, this might surprise a lot of people that confidence intervals can overlap and indicate statistical significance. That's just true, and it's always been true, and there have been papers for decades showing that that's true. and what Cumming showed in a really uh, insightful graph, uh, and this is looking at the difference between point estimates, which are means, he showed when you do an independent sample t-test, say, and you get the 95% confidence intervals for, uh, say, mean 1 and mean 2, the two dots are mean 1 and mean 2, and we can see that there's overlap between the confidence intervals. Well, in this particular example, Cumming showed that uh, even though there's 59%, when there's 59% overlap in the confidence intervals, there's still a statistically significant effect equal to about 0 0.05. And if you look at, uh, that's the amount of over overlap between the confidence intervals, and that indicates a statistically significant effect, p equal 0 0.05. Now in the case where there's just barely a bit of overlap equal to 14%, that equals uh, a statistical significant effect equal to 0 0.01. And so Cummings suggested a rule across a number of statistics. He looked at proportions and correlations. And he suggested, by and large, uh, overlap equal to about 50% uh, is corresponds to a significant effect of 0 0.05. And if there's just barely any uh, overlap, uh, then it's about 0 0.01. And I'm suggesting based on these data, based on the research of Cumming and others, that you could probably use the 50% rule for beta weights from multiple regression. So you just have to estimate those confidence intervals from a bootstrap procedure. It would actually be inaccurate to do it through the standardized error, which only a corresponds to the unstandardized beta weights. That's the tricky bit here. How do you find, uh, how do you test the difference between two beta weights which are standardized in nature? Because the sampling distribution of standardized estimates, point estimates, is not the same as unstandardized point estimates. And so let's look at an example and I'll show you how to get those confidence intervals for both unstandardized and standardized. And so this is a multiple regression example where attractiveness is the dependent variable, humor is the independent, is an independent variable, and intelligence is an independent variable. And in this fictitious example, uh, women are rating the attractiveness of males, and their intelligence is estimated, and their humor abilities estimated. And these two attributes are actually positively correlated based on empirical research, about 0.3 correlation. And the hypothesis is can you build a multiple regression equation where both of these variables predict attractiveness but then even further than that are the standardized beta weights equal to each other so how do we go about getting the estimates that we need go into regression 
linear and put attractiveness in the dependent box and then 